Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. It's been a while. Just got back from camping yesterday and I spent the morning cleaning because it rained for three days and there was mud and everything. Um, but I just, I had five points, so I put the five points in the operational mastery, which was the increase the weight capacity bonus. So, woo! That's a, that's filled up. I was tempted but to get the squad mate damage stuff, but I almost always go for a for a like a weight capacity or inventory slot increase. Um, shoot! All right, hopefully I won't level up too much because I know um, I know for sure Frog Raider was willing to give me some good advice as as they often do <laughs> on how to play Infiltrator, and I, like, totally 100% like, need it. Because I've never played Infiltrator before, and I always appreciate it when people are willing to give me advice. Anybody wants to, like, let me know, like, what their favorite way of doing, like, Infiltrator was or something, totally let me know. Um, as of right now, there's, like, two options that Frog Raider said, well, there's more, but, like, the two main ones that stuck out were the to using the tactical cloak to snipe from a distance or to use the tactical cloak to get up close and use a shotgun. So, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited. I know, I'm, I'm actually really kind of behind on uh, comments because I have been camping and I didn't have great service, but um, I will get to that today. I just needed to be able to, I needed to play a little bit so I could get this uploaded today since I didn't upload videos yesterday. Yay. More charisma. Is that the last one? Or, or did I? Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did that. And that was another thing I remember that Frog Raider mentioned was go with a lot of the, uh, the power, duration, and damage stuff. So that's what I'll be trying to do for sure. I, I like to do that anyway, but, but yeah. Ah, it's so scary. What are we? Oh yeah, we're gonna go rescue the guy. Where are we going though, Garrett? I'm following you, Garrus, I guess. Ah! See, if they just like spun around in a circle, I think they could annihilate everybody on this little moon. Stop shooting lasers! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn around and look at us. Oh, he's motioning. He's like, come this way, you idiot. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Of course we're gonna find trouble, Garrus. We always find trouble. Ah. How many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Holy crap! Those fighters aren't even making a dent. On the Reaper. Yeah, those Whoa. are the little fighters right there. I didn't know James said this much. That's the tur- Oh, okay, okay. That's, um, the Primarchs. Pretty sure. Whoa. Oh, yes. Alright, so we can't get back. No, take me back. Take me back. <laughs> Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of if they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Well, this Turian put up a good fight. We got a lot of husks. Oh, money. Thanks. That one, too. Looks like they kind of got ambushed, though. I believe that's the, that was the Primarch's frigate. Garrus is like, hurry up. We ain't got... Oh, God. 
that's not a good place. So if I cough a little bit today, I apologize. I'm <coughs> having a bit of trouble breathing. During seasonal changes, especially in the winter, the area I live in can get really, the air can get really polluted and I have asthma, so it makes it difficult to breathe some days. Hey, spiders! You can like hear their footsteps like ching, ching. Oh, more fighters. Downed fighters, though. Oh, wow, look at that! Another frigate! I didn't notice that. It's probably gonna blow up in a second. Man, I feel like... Oh, okay. What? Oh, I think I picked up uh, a bomb. Cool. A grenade. I know! And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. You're leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Yep. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. There's no way. We'd be able to beat them alone. Like each individual. Oh, hey! Oh, God! It's a harvester! Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Got himself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. It's okay. I'm just gonna take your med kit. Uh. Sniper rifle spare ammo! Yeah! Sure. Sounds right. Why does it get to shit like that going down? Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. That freak oh, yeah. did the frigate go down? We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Which is uh Alright. This way. This sniper rifle is ridiculously long. No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that is not surprising. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if there's like a vantage point they'll give me, but I don't think they will. Like, I don't think they'll start throwing enemies at me, really. You really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? <laughs> Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. Yeah. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. Yep. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with a the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Yeah, well, you know. I got I got a couple aces up my sleeve. So does Garrus. Whoa, you guys just disappeared into the void? I mean, at least the fighters are keeping them occupied, but look how many are exploding, you know? I 
I guess there's a lot of little uh, bases on this moon, so the Reapers have to make sure they thoroughly annihilate all of them. I think I got all the med kit upgrades. Okay. Excuse me, boys. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna try and see if I can get up there, but it's too much to hope for. Nope, Chipper, don't roll. sure I can practice that. Here it's coming! That good. Okay, double time! Double time! No Reapers taking this Primark from me! <laughs> right behind! Whee! Let's go! This is gonna be bad. They're all in front of us. But oh wait, no, I have that one on. Okay, no, oh god. Hopefully, it kept my stuff on. Excellent. Shoot, I forgot about the cannibals. Sorry, Garris. Did I just blow that one up? I think I did. There's absolutely zero vantage points, though. Excellent! I mean, I don't think I can get up on any of these things, which is extremely unfortunate. Yes, I've moved. Ow! Oh, God. No, I saw you. A brute. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, can't get in there. Awesome. Wow, my health went down really quickly. Oh, wait. Nope, get the brute. Oh my gosh, it did nothing! Decoy out, see if that does anything. I, uh, 
that. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't give it the thing. I was gonna. I was gonna upgrade the decoy, but I ended up not. Oh, quick, quick, quick! Yeah. Nice poking out, you sneaky. Um, shoot. I see you. Take your shields down so I can smack him with the thing. Dang it. He's too far behind now. I can't I can't see him. Like I can't I can't target him from where he's at. <laughs> Shepard, you're being useless. You're the other shepherd. Ah, they're so scary. that specific spot. This was the part where when I first tried to play Infiltrator ages and eons ago, um, I failed much, muchly. It's kind of cool to see them up close. Who else is here? Nobody? Oh. A cannibal? Dang it. Wow, I love, I'm loving this combo. Oh, do I just gotta, I think, I was thinking, I was like, do I just gotta get to General Victus or what?
Nice little General Victus. <coughs> the little command centers can become little Yes. Safety. I'm Commander Shepard pods. of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. Yeah, that was just really it just take in something the... beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit. Wow, we just like threw a whole bunch of crap at him person. and we're like, come on, buddy. I guess Shepard kind of, you know, like she doesn't have the time, but still, a little bit of sympathy. I'm Primarch of Palavan, negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. I know, right? Right? Right, dude? I feel you, especially in this time in America and freaking the world. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. Perfect! My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. Right, like it, he may seem reckless, but he's not. Like, he totally thinks about everything before he does it, and he's actually quite tactical. He doesn't just throw men in uselessly. Like, oh yes, go be passionate and die for our cause. He's like, I'm gonna think this through. And we're gonna do things that may seem a bit unconventional, but in the end, it's what's gonna be for the best. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Kind of curious Without why we don't down see... Here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? You're perfect, Garrus. Think you can win this thing, Shepard? <sighs> I don't know, buddy. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Yay! Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more in. Yeah, it did. Yay. <laughs> She's like, oh, great, good, fantastic. Let's, let's, let's just go now. <laughs> uh, Shepard's like, I'm not a politician either. I just need help. I don't know why we don't be like, let's just send the Krogan to, to, to the human world. Yeah, use it to take the pressure off the Turians, who will then maybe give us some of their fleets, or just send the Krogan, dang it, to Earth and take Sorry, the pressure I've off been Earth. Down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be what? at your How? Friend. That doesn't make our any sense! with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. She doesn't need to Goodbye. be there. Whoever the Asari leader is needs to be there. You know? Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. 
So, like, why <coughs> is she like, yeah, the Asari aren't going to be there. Just send somebody. Like, holy crap. And, like, of all people, the Asari aren't going to be there? Like, the galaxy's diplomats aren't going to be there? Like, are you serious? All because the Salarians are upset? The, Sol- the Asari weren't even involved, really, in the, like, Krogan, Salarian, Turian, like, you know, hostilities, you know? Like, what? Th- that m- It makes zero sense to me why they are, like, not coming to at least observe or be a part of it, you know? Mm. I don't know. Yo, Haggit, what do you want? I'm trying to do the impossible, buddy. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. (laughs) Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. What? I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier, ship, and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying That's so much pressure. Game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. Why aren't you gathering so things for the Prothean device? <laughs> like, like, what? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arturus Station before we knew what was happening. Took out Arturus Station. From there, it was Station. a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. Yeah. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for that the That is a, and such the a huge decision. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. It's true, but like it's the most devastating human enemy as well. You, you know, like there I don't think there really was a way to be prepared. I think there could have been a way I think we should have been preparing, like, bunkers and stuff, you know, maybe. But, I mean, because the Protheans, like, they had a pretty good idea. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, Ilos, right? Like, there were tons of people hidden on Ilos. Tons of Protheans hidden on Ilos. It just, the stuff started malfunctioning. You know, I like it does. Like, the Virgil had to start shutting down pods because there wasn't enough life support. So, I don't know if we could have had enough. I mean, even three years wouldn't have been enough to do that. You know, I don't. I don't think. And they started being like, "There, this is the, the, the disparate groups aren't going to unite. It's a doomed failure." I'm like, "Well, what do you think that holding up in your little? It's what I hate. It's what I hate about politics in the real world. It's what I hate about politics in this game. Is like, do you honestly think that shoring up your little borders are going to do anything? Have you seen Pacific Rim? It's my number one favorite movie of all time. What the what the what the leaders of Earth decided to do." After, like, the big Transformer Power Ranger robots started getting demolished was to build giant walls around the, like, borders of the country. And you see how fast the kaiju broke through those? They just went poof like they were butter. And they were like, nope, we still think this plan can work. And I'm like, are you freaking it? Like, putting up a wall is not going to solve any problems. The problems will still exist, you know? Pretending they don't exist is just foolishness. I hate that so much. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, 
The thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. It's true. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Which was kind of stupid, to be honest. Like, I get it. It's like you want to end the war decisively. But attacking civilian centers, I think, is, is a cowardly thing to do. I don't know. It's just, it's a way to break a nation by attacking their civilian centers, and I think that's just stupid. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. No, not anymore. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. It worked It worked for me. He subverted science and, like, the gods by bringing me back to life. <laughs> Except then I didn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't exactly as malleable as he thought I would be. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Pack it out. Oh, right, and uh, the earlier the ship was uh, having a conniption fit. Primark? Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. I figured he wear armor the whole time. To to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Yeah. It sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. That there'll be a lot more blood, real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way, <laughs> the sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is yeah, there something good. else I can help you with? I like his. I like his clothing. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years That's away. true. This would have to really irk the, the soldier in him. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. Yep. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Indeed, brother. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics <gasps> against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. I know. It's, it's, well, and I was reading some of the codex entries, and, like, one of them's about, like, Earth. You know, the state it's in now, basically. It's, like, how we were experiencing a golden age and all this stuff. And now that's, like completely blown away like there's there's almost nothing left you know i understand this is a difficult time for you primark but earth can't survive without reinforcements can i still count on your help if the krogan help us on palavan then i give you my word all right thank you primark my thoughts are with palavan and mine with earth thank you <laughs> that's so nice of him You guys better be doing important things. I won't tolerate any slacking. Oh yeah, my ship. It's uh. Eddie. <laughs> what do you mean offline? Yeah. I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. 
Ain't got time. Ain't got time for this scanning thing. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Okay, 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 okay. All right, are you okay? Done talking? All right, let's go. Stop a banshee! It gives you the warnings for these, like, way early on in the game, but you don't encounter banshees, I don't think, really, until... until you get to the Asari homeworld. Well, technically, um... Samara's mission, actually. <laughs> Edie! I'm looking forward to your new look! You guys, guys alright? You okay there? Is everything okay? No. That's what I'm gonna find out. You ready, boys? He's got like a fire extinguisher. I love it! Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. They're smart. They've got masks on. I'm going in. That's Adams. Pretty sure. <laughs> He's like so intense with that fire extinguisher. Edie, talk to me. We back online? You can't just do something like this without telling us, Edie! Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie! Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Uh-uh. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Oh! Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Whoa! Edie! Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body from me? <laughs> Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every <laughs> This platform could provide limited fire ground support. Say what? You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more Yeah, any more backup CPU traps? Run whatever test you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However... My first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new <laughs> It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Yeah, he will. On that, we can agree. <laughs> Edie! I do kind of wonder if this was her plan all along or if she actually was just like, oh, hey, you know, <laughs> while I'm was here. Was that Edie who just walked by? Ah! Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Yep. Yep. 